Happy Thursday, my world. Happy whenever you'll see this in your world, okay? Bienvenidos a mi canal. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming back to see a girl if you know me. If you do not recognize this face, however, my bad. My name is Latrice. Can I say you? And this right here is Faith by Latrice. Yes. Where faith is most we exercise around here. Now let's get on into it, y'all. No, till Italian. Now, you know, first things first. Excuse my face. Uh, I was talking to Jesus last night, and I was thinking out loud, and I, I was crying, mm -hmm. clearly. <coughs> and so, um, huh. I watched the Bible study last night with PD, uh, Pastor Darius Daniels. What's up? And he said something that arrested me and my soul and my spirit to where I was driving this morning uh, to my work establishment, and I was trying to, I was going to put on, um, like, some faith talk, right, about a miracle for Miracle Week. I was like, let me keep watching those. But I, it didn't, it couldn't click. Because what was on my heart, I'm, I'm not about to cry with. <laughs> uh, what was on my heart last night is still there. And so let's go ahead and share it, huh? It was out of Romans 12, 4 to 5. And in this version, mine says, this is Paul talking uh, to the Roman church. And they're talking about spiritual gifts. Mm -hmm. Petey says that uh, we have three kinds of gifts or abilities. The first one is um, natural abilities, which is talent, right? Things you're born with. The second one is acquired skill, things that you build on, you learn, you develop the skill. And then the third one is spiritual gifts. And most of us never really know what is, like what is it, or we never tap into it. And that's what they're talking about. And this is Paul talking. He says, for as in one body... We have many members, and the members do not all have the same function. So we, though many, are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Now, I like the way <clears throat> their version or PD's version described num verse number five. It said, so in Christ, we, though many, form one body, and each member belongs to all others. That's what he's talking about. That's very Christianese. Now, if you've ever heard um, these terms like Christians, people who follow Christ and follow his way and his teachings and all the things, are referred to as the body of Christ. He says that in the Bible. We are the body of Christ. What does that mean? Like the body. So we are, we have different gifts, right? There are people who teach, the people who preach. There are, the Bible says apostles, teachers, uh, evangelists, prophets, all the things, right? And it's made in simple, simple simpler terms in other translations um but at the end of those verses i think like after verse five it says if you're a teacher then teach if you have the gift of encouragement encourage people if you have the gift of giving give to people if you have if you have these gifts then do it use them pd said if i don't understand that i'm supposed to be using my gift for other people or using my gift pause Gifts are given to us, right? The Just plain practical terms. If you give somebody a gift and they love it and it's wonderful and now they can use it, they didn't have control over that gift being given to them. Does that make sense? So if God gives me a speaking gift, I didn't give that to myself. And I don't have it just to speak to myself. PD said, I have a teaching gift. But it's not for me. I can learn, but I can't teach myself. This is the part that got me. He said, the only reason you stop using your gift when you're mad is because you think it's yours. And I started plugging it in. He started naming other reasons why we don't use our gift. But I plugged it into my life. Like The, the only reason we stop using our gifts when life gets the life in is because you think your gift is yours. The only reason you stop helping people, that gift of giving that you have, that gift of loving people on a deeper level, that empathetic gift you have, or that's not a, y'all get what I'm saying? The only reason you stop using your gift when you are discouraged, when you are heartbroken, when you're mad, is because you think your gift is yours. You have a speaking gift, it's, or you have a writing gift. I don't have a writing gift. For those of us watching right now, whoever's watching me right now, and there's people I know watching me who probably don't believe in God, don't believe in religion, faith. That's your business. But you have a gift nonetheless. You have an ability, you have a skill, you have things that are valuable in your life as well. And you can't stop using it. You can't stop servicing people and making the world better just because you're mad. 
just because he said the only reason we only use our gift on people we like, the only reason you're nice to people that you like is because you think your gift is yours and it's not. He gave the metaphor of a body, right? Our body. The nose doesn't do what the eyes do. The ears don't do what the mouth does. The fingers don't do what the legs do and the toes do. But it, they all belong to one body. Mm. Your gift doesn't belong to you. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry to be the one to share this with you today, huh? But your gift doesn't belong to you. And I thought about myself like, oh, God. Why do I always have to share things? I was saying to God, like, there was a, a time when, like, he didn't let me throw it all away. Because I was ready to throw it all away. I was like, no, I'm going to do this no more. But he didn't let me throw it all away because your life isn't just about you. What you do in, in the world, what you do in life, it's not just about you. You have a gift of encouragement. I, ha I know I have a gift of encouragement. And it's not just so I can encourage myself. Yes, I need to encourage myself. But it's not just so I can encourage myself. That's it before I say something that make me cry. Go on my child business. <laughs> See, nadie te ha dicho hoy, esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo. If nobody has told you today, I love you. And I love me. Because listen, life be life. I'm going to get what? We are going to prosper regardless. Catch on the flip side. Bye.